Thanks, everybody. Welcome to the platform special interest group meeting. Uh, let's take a look at our agenda today. Share my screen. And here we go. Make it big enough that I can read it with my poor eyes. How's that? Perfect. Okay, so just to review the ag agenda topics first, and then we'll actually run through the, we'll actually do the agenda. So open action items. We had an item from last time on Natasha talking about the plugin installation manager. Since I don't see her yet in the meeting, I assume we'll delay this when she's back to school now. Um, release drafter progress. Oleg won't be able to attend, so we will delay that one. So uh, let's call it defer. And uh, Natasha's, we will also defer. I assume since she's on the East Coast now, again, that this may be a workable time for her. Oleg had a topic asking if we should move the com configuration as code plugin work from the cloud native special interest group to the um, platform special interest group. I'd propose we defer it while we wait for him to arrive. Then we had Alex, Docker multi-arch status. You okay with that on the agenda, Alex? Yes, absolutely. Great, thank you. Then uh, Windows installer status, Alex also okay on the agenda? Yes, sounds good. Okay, and then a, a brief report on Jenkins World, DevOps World from me. Uh, Marky, anything that you need to get onto the agenda? Nothing from me. I think I'll be mostly watching this time and then I'm sure next one I will. Great. All right. No, uh, no problem. Great to have you here. Super. So let's take a look at the open action items. And if I'm really smart, I can make that so we don't have a title bar. Great. So um, I still, and I apologize, this is getting embarrassing. I have not opened the JEP for the proposed rules to do Docker operating system support and platform selection rules. We have already adopted the, the CentOS and my apologies for the noise in the background, my hotel room air conditioner just switched on. So we have adopted CentOS as a supported platform. It's now delivered. We did it without following any particular approval process. So Oleg has an action item to open a JEP for Windows support policy, same issue. Alex, your ongoing discussions with Olivier Bernin on code signing, anything you'd like to report there? Yeah, so we found out that um, it's basically as easy as opening a um, issue on the GitHub repository in the CDF. So um, uh, he did that, and so we're just waiting for that to occur. We're not sure how long it'll take, but um, the process is fairly easy. So we'll try and document that in this case it's needed in the future. Great. <coughs> Thanks very much. So that is that is that action is done waiting for them. Super. Okay, we had the new meeting time proposal action item and that is now done and we're meeting at the new time. I'm going to put a new action item now meeting at new time. Uh, Mark to announce more widely so that others are aware of the change. I had announced it in the Gitter channel, but did not send it to the mailing list, did not send it to the dev list or anywhere else. All right, so then we'll defer the topic for plugin installation manager and for release drafter. Moving the Java configuration as code, plugin, maintenance effort and the project to the platform SIG feels good to me personally because I like getting more information from the meeting rather than less. They're currently in the cloud native SIG that is kind of quiet, uh, but let's wait until Oleg is able to attend before we actually make that, have that discussion in further depth. Alex, you want to give us a report on Docker multi-arch and I'm going to mute my phone so that, or my source so that you don't have to hear my loud obnoxious sound. Um, so the update on the multi-arch stuff is I believe it is um, complete in terms of being merged into the Jenkins for eval branch. Um, so that is current, that branch uh, is currently building and publishing its 
all the images for the different architectures um, on ci.jenkins.io. Um, the next step is going to be um, getting feedback on those images from various people and um, then merging that experimental publish into the normal publish script so that it's done on trusted and in the Jenkins organization on Docker Hub. Alex, I started doing some work. Uh, I have not gotten the PRs in, and I'm hoping to do that next week uh, in changing some of the naming. So I've had a conversation with Oleg uh, to remove some of the sort of legacy naming, like the word slave. Uh, so I plan to get that work in there. And I think if you recall, Oleg said a while ago, oh, Mark, you may be interested in the work that you're doing. That's awesome. Um, that's definitely needed for sure. Um, yeah, there's a lot of changes though that go that once I started peeling back that, that, uh, the layers of that, it, uh, I realized the actual extent of that. Uh, so <laughs> it'll be definitely a large, a large body of work. Yeah. I, I know the, the window stuff that I've done for the different, um, like Docker slave and Docker SSH slave and Docker JNLP slave repositories. Has all used the word agent, so hopefully there's nothing there that needs to be fixed. Cool. Thank you very much for everything that you've done so far. It's helped me learn more about Docker. I didn't really know anything about Docker to begin with, so it's been fun. Great way, trial by fire. Exactly. All right, thanks very much. Anything else that you wanted to report on? So so just to be sure, Alex, that means that ARM64 image and S390X image is now being now being published under the Jenkins for Eval Docker Hub uh, tree with tags there and everything. That's correct, yes. There's uh, also power uh, power PC image uh, that is being published as well. Okay, so that's a uh... PPC 64 L E. Do I do I remember it right? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, great. That's really good. Thank you. And I, I need to send something out on the mailing list, uh, probably the dev mailing list. Uh, actually, probably the users mailing list. Actually, about those images being available because I know uh, Durgada was kind of the driving force for the S 390X one. But it'd be good to get other people to use the other images and give us some feedback as well. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So I'll put that as a we'll put that into an action item for you uh, to report in upcoming sessions. Thanks very much. Anything else on Docker Multi Arch? Uh, no. Okay. Next topic then Windows installer status. Alex, back to you again. So um, the update on this is we actually have the capability now to um, build this on ci.jenkins.io. Um, I've brought up some Windows agents um, to allow us to do that. So uh, we can actually build the installer. Um, and then as I mentioned before, the, the code signing cert is in process. So once that's done, we should be able to have a fully automated uh, Windows installer build. Okay, so now you say ci.jenkins.io. What about trusted ci? Uh, trusted also has the capability. Ah, um, very good. But it'll be nice for um, ci.jenkins.io to have that capability as well. Excellent. And just for my information, will Continuous Delivery Foundation be the issuer of the certificate? Whose name will be on the certificate? I think the old one had Kosuke's name on it, or the current one has Kosuke's name on it. Will it now be a CDF certificate or? That, I believe that's the case, yes. Um, uh, so the, the problem we've had is since it's um, his code setting cert, only he can really use it. Right. Um, so that's been difficult to automate anything. So. Um, Olivier has been really excited about this as well for his work on the um, automated release of Jenkins. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, Kosuke correctly doesn't really want to place his personal code signing certificate 
on a public server or on a even a trusted public server. It's it's his certificate. That makes sense. Okay. Thank you. Anything else on Windows installer status? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. So the the last topic I had on the agenda was a report on Jenkins World and DevOps World, and I think the best answer there is refer to Marky's blog post. Uh, I thought that was an excellent summary of of so many things that happened at Jenkins World, DevOps World. Sorry that Alex, we didn't see you there, but great to have a large community. We had over 2,000 people in San Francisco at the conference in total. Really an amazing, amazing effort. It was really awesome. I don't even think that blog post encompasses all of what took place there and what transpired. So, yeah, so slides, slides and uh, video recordings. Uh, are I think still being processed, but the commitment was that they will be made available. And uh, there were some, yeah, really positive results, great outcomes. Those are all the topics that I had. Are there any other topics that we've missed? I think that sounds good to me. Nothing I can think of. Great, then let's call this meeting done. I will save the, the recording and we will, I'll post the recording later today and schedule us a next meeting in two weeks. Thanks everybody. Awesome, have a good day everybody.